My car's got graded and I cannot wait to show you what I got. Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi stuff here back bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Today we have some graded cards that we have got back from TGH. Who are TGH? You must be thinking casual. Who on earth are TGH? What are they? What do they do? How can I get my cards graded with them? Am I right? So, TGH are a new UK only trading card grading company. So in this video guys, I submitted 18 cards with TGH, the grading house. In fact, I did a little video a while ago where I showcased my cards that I would be submitting to TGH. It was about uh, six to eight months ago, so they were quite quick in their turnaround time. There was a bulk value submission, and this company was started up by a fellow Yu-Gi-Oh! Instagrammer, guys. Make sure you check out Karma TCG. I will have his Instagram pop up on screen. And uh, all I'm saying, guys, is if you want to get your cards graded in the UK with a fast, reliable, industry expert, professional person within the community, definitely consider grading with them. The prices are fantastic as well. The website's about to launch, so all the pricing, all the information will be on there. So far, I believe it's just Yu-Gi-Oh! But I think Pokemon and other trading card uh, card games will be coming soon. So guys, let's figure out what grades I got today and uh, let's open the box because I haven't spo I haven't looked at them guys. I went to pick these up in person. I actually met with Karma TCG, absolute legend in the community. I'll have that little photo pop off on screen as well so you can see me with him guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's crack into this. 18 cards today guys. So yeah, whenever your cards get graded, it is an absolute buzz because you want to know what they got and there's always a bit of excitement and you never really know um, yeah, I, I think my predictions were kind of all over the place with these because there were some really mint condition cards like pack fresh cards that I submitted in here and there were also cards that I thought would get like two, three, four, five, six, you know, all sorts of grades. So here we go guys, I'm going to show you the slabs, show you how they look, but if I had to say how they look, I've seen some prototypes, they kind of look like uh, a mixture between PSA and um... Well, they kind of look like, they look really, really nice. Really, really nice slabs, guys. So, okay. Can you tell what the card is just from looking at the back of it? You can't, like BGS, because in BGS, guys, you can sometimes tell. Ooh, actually, these are different colours. Black and, uh, black and blue. I don't know what that means, guys. Let, let's figure out. What does the black one mean? Does the black one mean got a, a, a gem mint card? Oh, my God, guys. Here we go. So, this is the slab. Let's, uh. Showcase the slab of TGH guys. I think we I think this is a gem mint card because If you can see the beautiful outline in fact, let me just zoom in so here we are guys I've just zoomed in very very slightly and uh, as you can see the TGH slab is in the top left corner the logo 2013 Yu-Gi-Oh Brotherhood of the Fire Fist uh, What is this boar first edition ultimate rare the labels looking really nice and we did get a pristine 10 from TGH for Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. Guys, insane. So the black back of the logo means it was a pristine card, guys. Oh, that is insane. So pristine 10 is the highest. Of course, it goes from one to 10, but I think you can, you can still get 10s as gem mints, but this is a pristine. So this is literally the best of the best. I really like this color around the slab. It looks really, really cool. Really looks like a gem. Guys, we start off strong with a pristine 10 brother to the Fire Fist bear. TGH. Guys, TGH. Let's see what we get in our next card. Ooh, Behemoth, the king of all animals. This was my unlimited copy, which was in decent condition. Uh, looks really, really nice. 2005 Yu-Gi-Oh! Flaming Behemoth. Okay, so we got a silver. It's a mixture between BGS and PSA, guys, these slabs. That's what I was going to say. BGS because of the color. Of the slab so silver i'm predicting what an eight uh hopefully oh a six a six a six that's fine what was wrong with my behemoth still nice i'm, I'm definitely going to keep it in the slab uh i think it had a bit of wear somewhere yeah a little bit of whitening on the back and the top you, know, you can see a bit of the bottom down here as well um so yeah not the best grade but that's fine it still looks really really clean must have had like a little corner bend as well oh yeah it does down here doesn't it a little bit of whitening down there as well. Sorry for my uh, stabbed th uh, finger, by the way. But no, Behemoth looks clean and a six. That's fine. Hey, as I say, guys, I didn't, I didn't really do this for the grades. I did this for the experiment just to test uh, what kind of cards we would get. So, so far, so good. 
very very nice two cards so far all right card number three guys in my first ever return we have a destiny hero dogma another unlimited ultimate rare this was uh pretty good i'm i'm gonna say maybe a seven i hope for dogma this uh quite an expensive card normally i think it's like a at least a 30 40 pound card as a raw nimmin even an unlimited and we got another six okay that's fair enough uh like i say these were kind of near mint so not crazy good again this does have some whitening at the top there you can see um and a little corner damage down there but a little bit of side wear as well but Dogma as a 6 looks pretty clean, looks quite nice, really professional. I do like these slabs a lot. Very, very clean. Look at that. Dogma. Not bad. What can we get out of this next one? Ooh, Explosive Magician, guys. Interesting. So Explosive Magician, a really nice ulti uh, from Stardust Overdrive. We got an 8. Okay, bit better. We got an 8, which is good. Uh, explosive Magician. Uh, yeah, very minimal whitening on the back, but still, I think that's a fair grade. A little bit of whitening up there. Decent, guys. Explosive Magician. Look at that. Beautiful card. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Like I say, guys, the cost of grading with them is really, 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 like, affordable. So it, it, bring, it makes grading fun again. Goyo Guardian, guys. Another Synchro uh, Ultimate Rare. You know me, how much I love Ultimate Rares, guys. Got a 7. Okay, Goyo Guardian as a 7, TGH7, very cool. Goyo Guardian, the Duelist Genesis Ultimate Rare 2008 Yu-Gi-Oh. Nice. I think the slabs look nice, guys. You can see the back looks pretty cool as well. Uh, it's definitely a mixture between PSA and BGS. These feel like really good quality slabs. I, I like them a lot. Oh, almost spoiled the grade there, guys. We've got a gold label here. So no longer is it silver, we've got a gold for Leo Arms. This was, again, a pack fresh card, guys. Cosmo Blazer, first edition ultimate rare. Got a gem mint 10, let's go. Leo Arms, guys. ZW Leo Arms. Fantastic. Beautiful card, Leo Arms. Cool looking ulti, guys. Very cool. Very, very nice. Cool, so we've got another 10. So that's a 10, and that's a pristine 10. Look at the difference, guys. So 10 versus pristine 10. I love the pristine look. It's so cool. The pristine 10 looks really, really nice. Those have been the highlights so far. Happy with that. What else did I send in, guys? It's been a while. I can't really remember. Ooh, a silent on a dark. A beautiful ulti. We pulled this one ages ago on the channel, but we also pulled another one quite recently. This is a European ulti, guys, and it got a mint 9. Very nice. Silent on a dark, maybe a bit OC left to right. Uh, that's all I can really see. Uh, any whitening on the back? Uh, no real whitening, that seems fine. Very nice card though, regardless. Okay, next up we have. Oh, another gold label. Does that mean we got a 10 for Dyson Sphere? I hope so. Yes, we got a gem mint 10 for Dyson Sphere, guys. That looks really gorgeous, actually. Dyson Sphere, wow, look at that card. My favorite card from Abyss Rising. One of my favorite ultis, actually. Very massive monster. If you've seen the anime, guys, you know what Dyson Sphere looks like. All right, guys, another gold label. Let's go. So these Zexal uh, XYZs coming in with the heat. Another 10. Gem Mint 10 for number C32 Shark Drake Vice. Beautiful. Doing well on the 10 street, guys. Let's see if we can get any more. Uh-oh. We've got a Ghost Rare. Number C32, Shark Drake Vice. Now, this was a pack fresh Ghost Rare. The fact that it's silver, hopefully got a 9. I'm hoping for a 9. A 9. Very nice. Shark Drake Vice. This was uh, pack fresh. Like I said, I pulled it on the channel. It looked really, really good. Just had a bit of scratching. So, 9 seems fair enough. You can see the scratches down the middle. I'll take a 9, guys. I'll take a 9. Ooh, Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Dragon now, guys. A big, really big card. Um, again, I just decided to grade it because I thought it would look cool on a slab. And it got a 7. That's fine. 
I wasn't expecting great on the Galaxy Eyes, to be fair. There was a bit of problems on it. There was a bit of whitening down here. I don't know if you can see that, guys. A bit of whitening there and a bit of whitening at the top as well. But still, beautiful looking 7 Tachyon Dragon. Let's see what else we got, guys. Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. Now, this also had some scratches on it, but I think was a little bit better. Yeah, it was. So we got an 8. Nice. Galaxy Eyes, sorry, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That looks great in 3D effect, this one. Really, really nice looking card. Beautiful. Happy with that. Up next, we have... No way. Gold label. My boy, Crab Turtle, getting the 10. Let's go. A reprint Crab Turtle getting the TGH Gem Mint 10. Absolutely love this card, guys. Favorite card of all time. Crab Turtle. Five or so more cards to go, guys. We've got a Leviathan Dragon Daedalus. This thing, I think, was pretty nice looking. Uh, but it's a silver, silver, so maybe an eight or a nine. Okay, got an eight. That's fine. Invasion of Chaos. Unlimited. Uh, Leviathan Dragon Daedalus. A really pretty card, actually. Really, really like it. Next up, we've got a Cyberdark Impact. Now, I pulled this on the channel when we pulled Rainbow Dragon Seeker Rare in the same video. It was extremely off-center, but hopefully we got a 9. Yes, we did. Nice. So it's OC, but it's still got the 9. That's gorgeous. I love that. Very cool, funky-looking card with all the Cyberdark Dragons on there. Keel, Edge, and Horn. Very cool. All right, guys. Next up, we have a, yes, Bahamut Shark which got the 10. Awesome card, guys. Look at Bahamut Shark. Very powerful monster. Uh, quite expensive, even as a raw card, but we got it in 10. So another 10. We've done really well, guys. <gasps> oh, oh my God. We got another pristine. Yes, we got another pristine. A ultimate rare Korean from Phantom Darkness, Storm Neos. That thing looks absolutely gorgeous, guys. Elemental Hero Storm Neos. Why this card was not printed as an ultimate rare in the actual TCG, I will never know. But that is insane. We got the pristine 10 on Storm Neos, guys. Wow, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible, guys. I love that. And last but not least, a Spellbook of Secrets Gem Mint 10. This was packed fresh, guys. So I was expecting it to get a high grade, but a 10 is insane. Absolutely amazing. Guys, there will be a giveaway for this video. In fact, I'm giving away one of these cards, and the card that I will be giving away is Goyo Guardian Near Mint 7. I'm giving away this Goyo Guardian, guys. If you want to win this Goyo Guardian, all that you need to do is leave a like, comment down below your thoughts on TGH. Let me know what you thought about this company, whether you like the slabs, what uh, cards you will be grading with them, or whether you will be grading any cards at all, or, or just your general opinion. It must be a comment relating to the company, TGH, and um, I will pick one random winner at the end of the month to win Goyo Guardian near Mint 7. But I'm very happy overall with my experience grading with them. We got a load of 10s. I was expecting a few 10s, guys, but not all, not all 10s. That's That must be said. I think the grading has been done very fairly uh, and yeah definitely really cool slabs to display and add to my personal collection very very happy with these so thank you so much to TGH and Karma TCG for allowing us to grade their, our cards with him so guys if you're interested go follow them on Instagram all the links you'll be able to find down below this was casual Yugi stuff thank you so much for tuning in guys and uh, keep it casual stay safe when collecting ciao for now